Hello, everyone. Sue Onleschuk here, continuing the workbook lessons of A Course in Miracles. And today we're on lesson 336. And the lesson today is forgiveness lets me know that minds are joined. Again, the lesson is speaking of forgiveness. And it says forgiveness is the means appointed for perceptions ending. Knowledge is restored after perception first is changed and then gives way entirely to what remains forever past its highest reach. For sights and sounds at best can serve but to recall the memory that lies beyond them all. Forgiveness sweeps away distortions and opens the hidden altar to the truth. Its lilies shine into the mind and call it to return and to look within, to find what it has vainly sought without. For here and only here is peace of mind restored for this the dwelling place of god himself and the prayer today is in quiet may forgiveness wipe away my dreams of separation and my dreams of sin then let me father look within and find your promise of my sinlessness is kept. Your word remains unchanged within my mind, and your love is still abiding in my heart. Forgiveness lets me know minds are joined. As I reflected on this lesson today, I was reminded again, and this is what I'd like to share with you today, that forgiveness is the undoing process. It is the undoing of the ego, which we are um, practicing as we do these lessons and as we practice and live this course of miracles. The forgiveness is the undoing process to overcome separation. Separation, the belief that we are separate bodies and with private minds. It says forgiveness lets me know that minds are joined. And in forgiveness, we are connected in the oneness. And, and in the oneness, there is no separation. There's no guilt or fear. There is the felt state of union. It says, Father, let me look within. Again, it's an inward journey. And find your promise of my sinlessness is kept. It is to experience the sinlessness, our, our sinlessness, our innocence, our holiness. It says, Father, your word remains unchanged within my mind. And your love, Father, is still abiding in my heart. And that is what we are, um, I'll say, searching for or working to attain is that heartfelt um, state of love that is within all of us. And I want to leave you today with the prayer, uh, you know, do your forgiveness work. It's ongoing. Again, we are undoing the ego. And when we're, when we're really radically honest with ourselves, we are living very much from the ego. 
very much from fear, insecurity, scarcity. So be awake and aware to when that shows up in your mind today, to be able to release it to the Holy Spirit. And in, in that, we are then reconnected with our mind of God, mind of love, mind of peace, joy, love, and happiness. And here's the prayer. Give credit here to Nook Sanchez from Take Me to Truth. And here is the prayer I offer you from her today as you go through your day and find uh, the need for forgiveness. It says, Holy Spirit, please help me to forgive myself. Remember your brother and sister, wherever you're triggered is only reflection of your own self. Help me to forgive myself for having unknowingly used my partner or my brother or my sister or my friend or my or sickness or pain or suffering or financial scarcity, any of that unknowingly used that to attack myself and to separate from your love, Father, as my holy self. Again, here's the prayer. Holy Spirit, please help me to forgive myself for unknowingly used another to attack myself and to separate from your love as my holy self. All right. That is lesson 336. Forgiveness lets me know that minds are joined. So again, uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for being here. I look forward to being with you in the next video for lesson 337. Continue your practice. Continue to... Um, have the intention to experience that love, joy, peace, and happiness and abundance that is within. All right. Please go below, like, comment, share, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I, again, I look forward to being with you in the next video for Lesson 337. Until then, from my heart to yours, I extend much love to you. Bye for now.